Uh, today, what up my agenda for today is simply I'm going to very quickly touch on some of the important pieces of module 2B. Then you need to submit your resources at the end. And so I'm going to go through today and actually show you what are the criteria that we are looking for in terms of you completing the assignment. Uh, in yesterday's session, we had a look at Creative Commons licensing. We did a test and it looked that at least those people who were logged into the Cahoots quiz, that those people seem to know what's going, in, going on. So that was very encouraging. However, we didn't have everyone in the Cahoots, so I'm not exactly sure where some of you are. Um, all right, so just a reminder then, um, we are working through these tutorials the way the content and the skills is taught is not through lectures, but through these tutorials. So there's number one. Number two was on how to find them. And I'm going to very quickly go through some of the techniques now. And then how to create your own, what you need to be aware of. All right. And then for tonight, uh, share your OERs. How do you do that? So that's the four little tutorials that we want you to, to complete. So if we have a look at number two, for example, this is how you find them. One of the problems with OERs is that there's no one-stop shop. There's no one place where all the OERs are. So we have to have, be able to use the search engines to find them. So how do we do this? And um, first of all, we said it's a good idea that you have very clear search criteria. What are you looking for? And so we encourage you to go onto the, um, the MOPSI site and download the correct curriculum document for your subject and um, then start having a look through, start having a look through the curriculum to identify specific terms. The more specific you can be in terms of your search criteria, the more effective it is that, you, uh, or the more, the better your chances are of finding OERs. All right. So, for example, I had a look at energy and power for uh, for the grade twos, I think it is. And um, yeah, there's some lovely words here which would help us find relevant curriculum. With them. But keep that in mind, then you want to be able to link the resource that you find directly to the curriculum. So then we asked you, all right, so how can you find it on Google? How can you find your resources on Google? So instead of me going through the tutorial, I'm actually going to do it quickly. All right. So I've clicked over to today's version of Google. They've got some fancy artwork, but it's the normal Google platform, google.com. And one of the things you can do then is to um, go for the advanced search. Let me just quickly go there. If you can remember the URL, that's great. I never can. So I just search for it. There we go. Google advanced search. And here is your ad advanced search page. So say, for example, I'm a history teacher. My caps locks on. And I'm looking for resources on Nelson Mandela. Then I type in his name at the beginning. But then I scroll right down to the bottom and I look at this thing here, usage rights, all right? And then in usage rights, I can say, how open these be? Now, you know your open licenses because we did that previously. So one of the things you could use free to use, share or modify, even commercially, is one of those very open licenses, mostly CC BY. Let's click on there and do an advanced search. All right. Now the results that come up should be OERs. All right. So the first one there, Nelson Mandela. Um, oh, it's in another language, so we'll skip that one. Uh, there's something from the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Uh, uh, we've got a Zulu version of Wikipedia. Um, that's mm, let's go for the English one. So there's our wiki quote, Nelson Mandela wiki quote. Um, there's some pictures, et cetera. And so if, as I look through, most of these should be um, OER. So I'm just going to go for that quote one. That looked quite interesting. All right. So we'll click over here. <clears throat> um, here's an article. 
um, blah, 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 tells us a little bit about what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. And if we scroll right to the bottom, you'll see here's the license, Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. All right, so that means anything on this page, text on this page, you take and adapt. All right, so that's nice. Um, uh, so any of these quotes uh, are quite nice. Here's some quotes we can take and use for our PowerPoint. We can use it for our projects, uh, et cetera. All right. So um, that's one example of using a search engine. Just use Google, Google Advanced Search. However, sometimes you know what you're looking for. You're looking for a video, for example. So how do you make sure that you find only Creative Commons videos? Well, the obvious place to go is YouTube. So in YouTube, you do your search. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to Nelson Mandela. Um, but now, how do I know that these ones are open? Okay, so they're not. At the moment, everything you're seeing in the research results is all types of licenses. So you click on the so you filter, click on the filter, and you notice and there's a Creative Commons in the fourth column. See that Creative Commons? You click on there. Now, all of these items you can download and you can manipulate and you can adapt and you can edit, et cetera. And then you don't have to ask for permission. You don't have to pay anything. These videos are open. All right. So if we even look at the first one. Oppression and racial segregation. In 1993, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his achievements. All right. So there's a little uh, uh, biography video. It might be quite useful for your class, etc. How do you know that it is Creative Commons? If you click on show more, you'll see it says down here, the license, Creative Commons attribution. Okay. So um, YouTube also makes it very easy to find sources. And then the other search engine that we looked at in the tutorial, I'm going very fast because I'm just recapping. You have been through this, haven't you? Tutorial two. Yep. Okay, so the other one that you can look at is Creative Commons Search. If you go to Creative Commons, you'll see there's a little button at the top. It says search for CC images. All right, but maybe you don't want to search just for images. You want to search for songs. Uh, Timothy um, put in the WhatsApp today that there was a court case going on about this artist who was suing um, another group because of copyright infringement for a song. So how can we find nice songs which um, we could use in our PowerPoint or that kids could use in their projects, etc.? So what you can do then is you. Um, uh, I like to use this button down the bottom as a bit of a trick. Go to the old search. I think the old search is better than the new one. And here you can say, oh, I want a song that feels like Africa or something. All right. And then you can say, I would like a song from SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a lot of podcasts and music and so on. And here's a whole load of songs um, which are openly licensed now. So you can see here, uh, copyright, Ooh, sorry, let's get rid of that. Um, let's go to one of them, let's go to the first one. Let's have a listen. Cool. Thank you. Nah, not so sure about that one. So let's try this one. Sounds a little bit like that pop song from my youth. All right, we'll go to this one rather. Uh, uh, too funky for me. Okay, yeah, this one. All right. So if we go and have a look at this one now, um, you'll see that the license is... Creative Commons license, there it is there. And then this song we can download, we can play it. Oh, very funky, all right. Okay, so that song is available. We could put it in our PowerPoint. The kids could put it in their projects, et cetera, et cetera. There's no problem. So long as we attribute where, who, where it comes from, 
this particular author is called audio to no lit factor uh, lit factor is the is the license holder of this one okay so cool there we go so there's a third way that you can look for media it doesn't have to be music it can be um podcasts can be images can be photos can be animations simulations can be text etc etc so there's a third way to actually do it all right so that was um there was a whole lot of other option ways of of doing it oh there's one other place you should look for oers uh, in tutorial two we also mention oer commons so let me very quickly show you oer commons especially for high school and primary school teachers oer commons is a very good place to start Right, OER comment says you can say, oh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for um, Nelson Mandela. I have no idea if they have anything. All right, if you want, you can say which subject, you can say which level, etc. But I'm going to keep mine very broad. Nelson Mandela, search, and um, now it's finding resources which we can use. This very first one, what is it? Let's go have a look. All right, it is, it looks quite interesting. Let's view the resource. Yeah, but where's, where's Nelson? Hmm, okay, maybe I'm going too quick. Let's try another one. Don't like that one. Don't know what happened to it. Make it a bit friendlier. Okay, this is a lesson plan about how to teach uh, Nelson Mandela and some of the principles that he was going for. Well, that's kind of nice. All right. So cool. You can get some ideas about how to do a lesson on Nelson Mandela, etc. And it's all Creative Commons licensing. So there you go. So uh, I showed you Google, I showed you YouTube, I showed you Creative Commons. And I have a very quick look at OER comments. So there are four nice little ways to find curriculum resources for your, for your course. Remember, use search criteria, search terms, which you've drawn directly from your curriculum documents from your syllabus. Okay, so that was tutorial two. Okay, but what about, what do you do with all these things now? So if we go back and have a look now at tutorial three, All right, create your own OER. We give you some tips and tricks here. So you've got some options. You can either take an OER and adapt it so that it works for the Zimbabwe context, or you can create your own OER from scratch. All right, so it's up to you. You can do either. You, if you're going to do adaptation, there's a couple of uh, advice about how to revise your open content. All right, uh, what type of tools to use. Um, Etc. Uh, Etc. Et There's some little um, clips about how to do it. Etc. Etc. All right. So um, there's that. And then if you are going to create your own resources, what do you need to be aware of? So, for example, um, will it be in a format that encourages other people to adapt it? So remember, when you're developing your own OER, we don't really want it to be a PDF. We would prefer it to be like a Word document, which allows other people to change the text and swap out the pictures, etc. Will it have a Creative Commons license that is truly open? All right, so the idea then is, are you gonna go for one of those very restrictive licenses that we've looked at yesterday, or are you going to go for one of the more open licenses? I'm obviously going to strongly encourage you to go for the, the most open, CC BY or CC BY SA, but it's not my call, it's up to you. And that's the beauty of the Creative Commons licenses, they give you all those options. And then, very important, what is the quality of this resource? Keep in mind that your name is going to be attached to it and maybe your school and your district. So make sure then that it is worth sharing, that it is something you are proud of, that it is of quality. 
All right. The idea then is we don't want to share rubbish. We want only the really good stuff. Um, and that way, the OERs will be um, considered of high quality. All right. So you need, as you're designing your own resource, you need to do that. All right. Now, what might your resource look like? So I'm just going to show you very quickly what some of the people did in my workshop a few years ago. Let me just call it up. It is here. Um, I'm going to show you this one. Can you see it? Let me just make sure I'm sharing correctly. Let me stop my share and reshare. All right. This so we said by definition, isomerism is a phenomenon where molecules have the same molecular formula, but different. I don't know if you can hear that. Formula. Is it loud Let's enough? take an example of butane, which is, so this is where we have three carbons in the stretch chain, and then the fourth carbon is attached to carbon number two. This is now a branched version of butane. So basically, these are isomers of... Okay, so he made this with his uh, cell phone. Uh, he actually asked me to be the 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 filmer um but he prepared a little kind of like a lecture really and then put this little clip together all right so that's one thing you could do uh, i'll just play another one um the uh, you saw the one in the little videos um that were in the tutorial so i won't show you that one i'll show you another one thank you uh, today we are looking at the geometry um, reference number 7 8 on the Zimsex syllabus, particularly looking at constructions and loci, and we are zeroing in on loci. Uh, that's what looking at is the locus of a point, which is so that it is always a fixed point. All right. Okay, so what he was trying to oh, let me stop that. So what he was trying to do then was to demonstrate in real time using video, well not real time, in video, uh, uh, examples of the geometry uh, 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 theory. So rather than just give it all uh, conceptually, he was trying to use people to demonstrate those points. All right, he's making all that noise. Turn them off. I'm going to just mute a few people here. Um, let's mute that person. All right. Sorry. All right. Um, all right. I've shown you two videos, but it doesn't have to be a video. So it could be a PowerPoint or um, it could be a worksheet in Word or uh, it could be um, some other piece of software. It has to be a file because we're going to upload it into a database. Who's making all that noise? Let's turn them off. How can I just say to everyone's off? In a second. I keep trying to mute this person, but they're making lots of noise. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So it doesn't have to be a video, but you do have video equipment. You've got your cell phone. And today's cell phones are pretty good when it comes to video. So you'd um, keep that as an option. Um, but as I was trying to say earlier, it could be a PowerPoint presentation that maybe it's just some content, or it could be a Word document, it could be a lesson plan, it could be a worksheet for the students to do, to fill in, et cetera, et cetera. So it's something linked to the curriculum that you can use, uh, 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 that you can share with others. All right. Let me just go back to my thing here. So then we said, once you've created it, what, how do you get your Creative Commons license on it? All right. So there's a little section in tutorial number three about how to license your own resource. All right. And there's a little video, video here that will take you started. A no. And you'll notice on the right hand side, the license is updated. So at the moment, it's CC by NC. 
All right. So there's an explanation in tutorial three about how to get your little um, license plate and then embed it into your your document. I'll, I'll just do it very quickly. Uh, it's, as someone mentioned in the WhatsApp this afternoon, oh, I've done it and it's easy. It is very easy. It's so easy. All right. So don't think it's like uh, complicated or anything. I'll just give you a very quick demo. All right. You go to Creative Commons, the creativecommons.org, and you click on this button this time, share your work. All right. You'll go to share your work, push the get started on the choose a license block. And there are a few questions that it wants to know. First of all, are you going to allow people to adapt to your work? All right. Um, yes or no or yes, but as long as others share their new versions with the same license. All right. That's that share alike. Remember from yesterday. So uh, are you going to allow commercial uses of your work? You might say, oh, no, they mustn't make any profit from it. All right. And then you'll notice as you choose different options. So the license on the right hand side uh, is updated. All right. If you go for something really open, this one here is really, really open. You get, they want to give you a little sticker saying, well done. This is a free culture license. Okay. <laughs> for whatever that, whatever that means. Uh, right. And then they would like you to fill in the, uh, your title of your work. What is your name? Um, is there a place where you've put your work online and so on and so on? Uh, what type of license do you want? And then um, it gives you some, let's just turn that off. Oh, I'll just put some rubbish in. Attribute the work, URL, URL, format, cool. All right. And then the uh, on this side, you can say whether you want a compact or a normal little button. I normally go for the, no uh, the normal one. Sorry, I'll go for a normal one. And then you, you've got some options. You can either just copy and paste this piece here into your PowerPoint, or you can, if you've got like a web page or a blog or uh, some type of HTML environment, you can actually take the HTML code and go copy and you can then paste it into your, your, web, your web page. All right. Um, and that's it. It's as simple as that. So uh, don't get put off by putting your own little um, uh, criteria, uh, your own little license plate onto your document. And that's all very, uh, that's part of what we're trying to achieve. So if I go back here, let me just come out of here. All right. So what are we going to do in number four? Number four is, uh, oh, let me just show you the criteria. Uh, yeah, let me show you number four. So the work for this evening is to have a look at number four. Number four is about how to share your work. All right. So the, the obvious place and where we do want you to put your thing is on the EduConnect edu portal. This is a Mopsy portal where they are uh, putting together more and more resources. Okay. If we go and have a look at it, it looks like this. All right. You're going to have to sign up so they know who you are. And then you can see that there is a submit a resource button and the mod, uh, tutorial number four will take you through the process of uploading your resource into the database. So Uh, I was just complaining to Albert about that. The, um, but you can then upload your resources. The, the trick is if you want to upload a, a YouTube video, you've got to actually put it on YouTube first. All right. So you, you need to use your Gmail account to access YouTube and then upload your resource there. And then you give the EduConnect portal the link, uh, the, the YouTube link. All right. If, however, it is a PowerPoint, then you can just uh, upload that directly into EduConnect. All right, so that's what we're going to want you to do as part of your. Okay, let's go back. How do you? All right, so uh, one last thing I want to just show you for today. 
um, is what do we want from you in terms of the assignment? So tomorrow I'm hoping we can have a show and tell that some of you can put call up your resources, whether they are videos or PowerPoints or Word or whatever, and we can have a look at your design and uh, look at which license you've chosen uh, and so on. All right, so let me just show you what the criteria are. Give me a second to call it. I've, I closed my thing by mistake. All right, so here's our page of all our resources on. I'm going to look at the training agenda and I am going to call up the, the, uh, the this document. Do you remember this document we handed out last week? So how are we going to assess your contribution? So we want you to create two OERs, all right? At least two. You're going to make more if you like. That would be even better. But uh, we want at least two, all right? So then we want to know, um, have you... So the final assignment is to apply the information that you had in the four that you learned in the four tutorials and, and either adapt an existing OER or, or create a new resource that must reflect the MOPSI curriculum. Okay. All OERs must be openly licensed, including the Creative Commons license plate. Okay. Uh, and then they need to be uploaded into EduConnect database. All right. Okay. So again, you need number four. You need to go through tutorial four to go through the steps to be able to, to do that. Um, and how are we going to mark it? All right. So first of all, we want to see if there's any evidence that you have created two or more. All right. So if you give us one, <laughs> we'll give you one mark. If you give us two, we'll give you two marks. If you give us three, we still only give you two marks. All right. If there's nothing, zero. Okay. Uh, we also want to see that there's evidence that you have clearly stated on each of the resource how it is aligned to the MOPSI curriculum statement. So somewhere in your resource, we want you to say, this links to specific objective 2.7 of the... Uh, maths and science grade two curriculum document. So we want to know where does this resource link to in the curriculum? And we want you to be quite specific. All right. Uh, if you make a hash of it, we'll give you one. If you get it right, we'll give you two. If it's not there, nothing. All right. Um, have you added the little license on it, the little Creative Commons license? All right. So we want to have a look. Where's your little license? If it's on your video, it can be on your last section if you want. It doesn't have to be on every single frame. If it's on your PowerPoint, it can also be the last slide. It doesn't have to be on every frame. And same with your Word document or uh, your Word processor document. Somewhere there needs to be the little, um, the little license plate in there. Okay. And then we want you to give us um, the, in, in the WhatsApp, so people are aware that you have been successful. And that's how we will know to go and look, is we want you to post a screen capture of the, of the metadata page. All right, let me show you what that looks like. Sorry, let me go back to EduConnect. Edu I'm just going to log in. My resources. There you are. So if you go to my resources. Oh, all right. That's a bit of a mess. All right, let me just go to anywhere. Let me just get a resource. Or on a phone to use your uh, screen capture button and then take a, a picture of this page. For example, um, and for me, I've got my snapper tool always ready here. Let me put it on there. So then I'll go new and I want you to grab this bit. 
and then paste it into the WhatsApp. All right. And then that way we can go through and we can find out um, uh, how many, we want two, two of these, one for each resource. And then that way we can say, all right, they get their two points. And then we can see in one slide, we can see all your, all your metadata. We can see what your license is. We can see what your license is. Uh, we can see who you are. Oops. <laughs> uh, we can see which grade you've prepared materials for. We can see which subject you're preparing materials for. Uh, and we can see that you uploaded it. All right. So um, the uh, that's the that's what we would like you to paste into the into the WhatsApp so that we have a record of those people who think they have successfully completed the assignment. All right. Um, let me also just put that in the WhatsApp so you are absolutely clear. So when I stop talking, you still have access to, to all the goodies. It's my PDF. Where did that go? There it is. I'm going to stick this as a picture, make it slightly smaller. I'm going to stick this now in the WhatsApp so you have a record of the assignment. Group one, group one. All right, so I've just pasted it into into the WhatsApp. So if you if you can't locate that document, uh, at least you've got the assignment in the WhatsApp. So um, all how we're going to mark it and what we want you to do is in that little picture on the WhatsApp. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to shut up now. We've still got uh, another 10 minutes. Are there any questions or queries about what we still need to do? and what you have to submit before tomorrow, two o'clock. Hang on, I've lost my Zoom. Zoom, here we go. All right, gotcha. Any queries or questions in the last 10 minutes about what we need to still do for here? If you want the certificate, we need you to complete, you've got to at least get two, three, four, five. You've got to get five out of 10 for the assignment. Okay, you can either uh, we, key your mic if you want. I see there's some hands. Let's go with Richard first. Yes, thank you. You said we are we are to sub, submit our OER way specifically. Okay, so you got to put it on um, EduConnect. Let me also put the URL in the WhatsApp. It is uh, it is here. Let me sorry. Let me just. It is mopsy.online, but I'm just going to stick it in the, in the WhatsApp as well. There you go. So it's um, mopsy.online is where we would like you to put your OER. So um, we're, they're in the national database and then other teachers can find it. All right. So I've put the link in the WhatsApp. Can you put them okay. there? Richard, does that explain the, is that answer? Yeah, I'm, I'm answered. And the evidence you said we post on the WhatsApp platform? Yes, so that, that, that page, which gives me all the metadata, let me just go to any resource. Uh, I keep going for the same one because I know it's there. So once you've loaded it, it'll give you this information here on the screen. I want you just to use your snipper tool, just to give me a, I want you to go like that. 
copy it and then go into the WhatsApp. Let me put the WhatsApp here so you can see. I want you to go into the WhatsApp and then you just paste it straight in like that. All right. And then that way um, we know in that information, it tells us who you are. It tells us what resource you've, uh, you uploaded and when and how it links to the curriculum. So for us, that's very handy, that piece of information. So we will be okay. able to track which is your resource. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I'm on that. Thank you. All right. Um, 1WLS82NDA. Yes. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> uh, yes. Good afternoon, Mr. Andrew. How can I help? Yeah, I'm sorry. We, my, my, my network has got a lot of hiccups here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I missed a lot on, on, on your demonstration on, on, on creating the OER. And um, it's quite sketchy as you were trying to demonstrate. My network was very bad here. Yeah? So I, I, I needed maybe if I can see the, the, the re-demonstration uh, of, of how to, to create an OER and then uploading it onto the EduConnect portal and then the assignment requirements. Okay, all right. Um, I, I, this is not a lecture, so I went very fast because the process is in the tutorial, okay? So to create your own OER is number three. And so all the information you need to create an OER is in this tutorial. So you can go in here and have a look in your own time and with your own bandwidth when, when, it, when it comes on, et cetera. Um, the trick, however, is there's no real difference between a normal curriculum resource and an OER, they are the same. So previously you've made teaching resources using Word and PowerPoint, et cetera. So it's the same, you, you don't change that. The only things you need to really worry about is how to, uh, are these three items here? Are you gonna offer it in a format that encourages other people to change it? All right, so we don't really want it to be fixed. We want it to be editable. So offering it as a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or as an Excel spreadsheet is cool because people can then change it and adapt it as they see fit. The second thing you gotta worry about is which license have you chosen? Okay, and is it open? So um, we were trying to say earlier in the, in the uh, tutorials that an open license is more useful for teachers than a, a restricted license. So we would like you to choose a license which is, the, which is as open as you would permit. All right, it's up to you to choose any of the six, okay. but, of the six licenses, but we okay. would encourage you to go for as open okay. as possible. And then finally, is your resource of good quality? All right, so the, remember, you're sharing it now with all the Zimbabwe teachers. You're sharing it with the world. If, if you'll see in this, um, uh, in this tutorial, or in the next tutorial, there's a thing about EduConnect, but there's also a thing about how to put your resource on OER Commons. So if you want, you could go for a global audience. Uh, we're encouraging you to at least go for a Zimbabwe audience, but it doesn't matter. It must be of good quality. All right. So we would like you to offer resources which are already at a very high level of quality. All right. So those are the only three real differences between an OER and any of the other teaching resources that you have created previously. All right. So I was encouraging you to use your phones to make videos. I was encouraging you to use Word uh, for worksheets and for lesson plans. I was encouraging you to use PowerPoint for uh, uh, displays and demonstrations for students. Like I was a history teacher. It was one of the first things I ever made 
was uh, PowerPoints to go with my, my stories that I'd be telling them about history. All right. So I made them on the Soviet Union and Stalin and Trotsky because I was a history teacher uh, and so on. So same thing for you. Um, choose a format which is useful for others. Make sure that there's a little license on it and make sure that it's good quality. So, yeah, that's what I was trying to say there. But take your time. Go through number three, tutorial three. It says a lot more than I've just said now. All right. Any other? Did I cover your question? All right. Let's ask uh, Sylvia. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, maybe as you said, I will find uh, it in the tutorial three yep. on the issue of uh, 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 of um, uh, creating the license and uploading it to the to the to the resource. That's also creating in the license. Three. So that's also covered in number three in tutorial three. It tells you how to put your license on. There's two videos, I think. Yeah, there's two videos, which explains the process. So you can watch the videos and try and copy what it does in the video. In this video, we now want to put a Creative Commons license on our newly created open educational resource. Okay, so um, I've gone through step by step and I've tried to show you in the, in the video how to do it. So uh, yeah, uh, have a look, take your time, see if you can replicate what I've done in the video. All right. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. All right. Sylvia, I don't think you... Is that Sylvia there? Sylvia Cherera. Yes. I enjoy um, I'm good. My question, yes. My question is, what did you get to the assignment? Like some of us, hey, network is a challenge this side. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit behind in terms of my assignment. I want to know what, what's the deadline. Can you extend this? <laughs> um, yes. Can and, you uh, allow those that I bit behind the bit oh, of extension? Um, be up to end of day two. The, what, what's interesting is you guys only had four days. Everyone else has got five days. It was because you had a public holiday on the Monday. So I'm thinking, should I give you till the Monday next week? Or do you want... To the Friday next week. How much time? You don't want. You don't want any longer than that. Otherwise, you'll forget about it. So, what do you think would be a good idea? Let me see if I can get the poll working. Give me a second. Uh, has this one got meeting? Mm -mm. Chat remote control. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know you guys don't have it on your Zoom. Okay. All right. Um, I will talk to um, uh, Harari head office and we will come up with a date and I will let you all know. I think you should have a bit longer. I've realized to get through all the materials and now apply your mm. minds to a quality resource is all a bit quick. So I think you do need some extra time, uh, maybe two or three extra days. So I will talk to Harari yeah. And I will tell you in the WhatsApp group what the date will be. I, I don't think I can make a carte blanche decision. I think I need to negotiate with the head office. Okay. But I think All you right. do need to. Thank you. Uh, that's fine. I took okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you for your any, All right. Any other hands? I see Amon has put his hand down. It's okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let me wrap up then for today. I don't want to keep you longer. Uh, these, I know you're very busy people and you've already got lots to do. All right. So what do you need to do and what do I need to do? So number one, I need to now renegotiate with Harari for a new a deadline for the submission of the, of the assignment. All right. What do you need to do? You need to look at um, Tutorial number four, if you're not up to date, you also need to look at the other tutorials. They all work together. You have to do all four. 
They don't really work alone. All right. So you need to uh, catch up on all four tutorials. For those people who are up to date, it would be very nice if you could have a resource ready for tomorrow and then we can get, uh, we can display some of them and we can discuss the design issues, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah. And so how do we know that you've done a good job? I've, I've put the criteria for the assignment in the WhatsApp. You can go and have a look at that. And then if you can start preparing your materials. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's as far as we've got. Uh, tomorrow, I will ask you to fill in a questionnaire about what works and what doesn't work and how you think it could be improved, uh, the training. We're trying something new because of lockdown. So um, we, very, we do value your, your input. Uh, you can see I don't like Zoom lectures. I don't think they work. All right. I think you sit there and most of you go to sleep. So I've tried to do it a different way, but maybe this doesn't work for you either. So you need to tell me tomorrow when we have our little questionnaire, you can uh, give me some feedback. All right. Grace has got a hand up. Grace, how can we help? Grace Makuyana. Grace, you're muted. Hello. Ah, the yes, hello. Yep. Yes, I had the same question with Sylvia Charera, so it's okay. I'm, I'm answered. Thank you. Okay, right, cool. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, in that case, oh, yes, yeah. Hmm? There's a question on the chat, and Oh, let me have a look at the chat. I haven't got it even open. Give me a second. Uh, chat, chat, chat. Where's my chat button? Uh, sorry. I've lost. Oh, there it is. Uh, does the EduConnect platform allow uploading of SCORM content? No, I'm afraid not at the moment. So the only options you've got is for. Um, individual files, and that works very well, and then URLs, all right? So if you upload to YouTube or to Instagram or to Facebook or whatever, uh, then you can give us the URL and we can make a plan, all right? Um, but to be honest, EduConnect at the moment works best for files. Does EduConnect platform allow me to SCORM? What else we got? Second video wasn't clear. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what? does html5 all right so if you've got html5 documents you're going to have to find a home for it first somewhere on a server all right because EduConnect will not host your site all right so you got to find a home for it first and then give EduConnect the url of where it is so if you've written it in html5 you've got to find a home for it a host somewhere all right if you're struggling, let me know. Let's see if we can find you a host. All right. So that's fine. Cool. Any other queries? I'll be honest, EduConnect is very early days. We're still trying to iron out all the little gremlins. Um, so I do know the files work well. So um, files are best. And the But if you're struggling with your video, stick it on YouTube and give us, just send me the, the URL and the little thing, and then we can sort it out. Okay. Any other queries, questions? All right, it is now 10 to, we've been on 50 minutes on the Zoom. It's more than enough. You've got lots to do. So I'm gonna leave you now. I want you to go and do one, two, three, and four, if you haven't already. And I want you to start preparing your assignments. Okay, good. I will see you tomorrow at 1400. Tomorrow is a little bit different. You're going to be doing lots of talking and telling me stuff. And hopefully we're going to have a few people who can present their, their OERs. That will be cool. Good. Okay. Uh, you can sign off now. Thank you very much. The session is finished. <laughs>